You are watching a video made for sharpresources.com, the website which brings you design and technology resources for pupils and teachers alike. We specialize in PowerPoint presentations, tutorial videos, interactive flash videos, as well as custom resources. Enjoy the video. The next type of pictorial drawing we're going to look at is planometric, also known as axonometric. Planometric drawings will usually either show the outside landscape of a garden or the interior view of a room. It will sometimes be used for drawing buildings, however, it is not used in industry anymore. Planometric still has some value, however, especially for showing the position of objects within a space. And we're going to look at the, the rules and the particular benefits of, of drawing planometric. The example shown here is a simple bedroom scene, and this is fairly typical of the sort of thing you might be asked to draw. The first thing that sets planometric apart from other technically accurate pictorial drawings is that, in theory, it can be drawn at any angle to the horizontal. Now because we have particular set squares, and that's generally 30-60 degree set square or 45, these are the two options that you are most likely to see. This then gives us our first rule which is that planometric can be drawn at any angle from the horizontal. Now when that angle has been selected, the next step is to draw the plan, accurate and true to size. However, it would then also be rotated and drawn at the angle as described in rule 1. So rule 2 would be the plan is then drawn at the angle to correct size and scale. And this is what that would look like in this case. The next step after drawing the plan would be to bring the heights up. In planometric, heights remain vertical and they also remain true to length. So as with rule 3, heights remain vertical and are drawn at the correct size. And this is how this would look on the example we've used. With these heights in place, the only thing that needs to be done is to draw in the top parts of all the objects. So in this case we've got a bed, a desk and a chair. And so we must then draw in the top parts of those objects. Looking at this example, you should note that the front three faces are not shown. Generally, planometric is drawing the inside of a space, and therefore, to leave these three faces on would not allow us to see most of the detail. So the version of this room that you see here is how interior spaces would be drawn in planometric, without the two walls and the ceiling. And that's planometric in three simple rules. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out the others available at sharpresources.com.